Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Divine News, a brand new halakha for you. It's for Wednesday, the second day of, Ju of January. Here we go. Today's halakha is this. You know that you're not allowed to directly ask a non-Jew to do work for you on Shabbos. But, uh, watch for these exceptional situations. Let's say you give your car into a non-Jewish mechanic and you ask him to fix it for you. Um, you hand it to him on Thursday and he says, uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to get to it. He could take care of it for you Thursday afternoon or Friday and uh, he said it might take a couple of days, it might not. You know, you know, it's all loose and everything. And he chooses to work on your car on Shabbos. Then you didn't do anything wrong. You left him your car on Thursday. He could have done it Thursday or Friday. He chose to do it for his own convenience on Shabbos. Then you did absolutely nothing wrong. If you gave it to him two seconds before Shabbos and you said, I must have it Saturday night, then you basically told him to work on it on Shabbos and that you're not supposed to do. That's the general situation with that. If a non-Jew is doing work for you and he chooses to do it on Shabbos and you didn't tell him that he had to, then you're okay. You didn't do anything wrong. When you pay him, you're paying him for the work that he would have, could have, should have done before Shabbos, and you're not actually technically paying him for any of the work on Shabbos. This would apply to, most, most importantly, to Jews. If you hire a Jewish waiter to work for a bar mitzvah, you're a caterer, and that waiter is going to work for you all Shabbos, and then you pay him at the end of Shabbos. The idea is, because he's Jewish, that you should pay him for, like he helped you a little bit before Shabbos unloading the truck or something, and all of his pay, because he's Jewish, is for that. And then um, he gets paid after Shabbos for helping you unload the truck on Friday, and all the other stuff that he did for you on Shabbos is kind of like thrown in for free, kind of, sort of. Um, and that's not uh, considered like a trick. That's really how you do it if you want to pay a Jewish person for work that he does for you on Shabbos. Um, lastly, I just want to tell you that if you have a long-term project going on in your house where non-Jewish workers are uh, making an addition onto your home or something like that, or, you know, retouching your house, and they have been working there for a long time and they want to continue their work on Shabbos, that's not so kosher because people in your area see the guys working on your house on Shabbos. It looks like you're paying them to work on Shabbos, and that's not appropriate. You should try to ask them to not do their work on your house on Shabbos because all your Jewish neighbors know that, oh my gosh, the so-and-sos are having work done. They're paying these non-Jewish workers to work all over their house every Shabbos, that's not appropriate. The, the look is really bad and you're not allowed to have that look going on. So you should try to encourage them to not do any work on Shabbos. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.